Oh, it stopped at 125 bucks. But who cares about gas prices when you can do tunnel runs? <laughs> it slipped on all four there. You gotta be careful with all this power even though you have four wheel drive in the rain. Anyway, we are back here at Wheel Connection, my buddy Chad's place. You guys remember the previous video, we were here and the whole debacle with putting new wheels on. Finally, we're switching out the 20 by 12s that we've had on all my trucks for like four or five years. I'm done with it. We're getting some proper wheels. And here they are. They're all mounted, they're ready to go. These are 18 by nines. The previous video, we tried 17 by nines. That didn't work out at all. If you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. But long story short, uh, I should have read up on the instructions with the lift kit that I have and everything. You can't fit 17 by nines because of a new steering knuckle that relocates the tie rod and it was hitting the wheel. It didn't work, I didn't know, it was whatever. Now also last time, I was super excited because I thought that I was gonna you know, lose some weight in the new wheel and tire setup. I was wrong. The 17 by nines ended up weighing about a pound, pound and a half more than the 20 by 12s. So I keep pointing at these. These are now the 18s. So what we're gonna do is of course, weigh those as well, or one of them, to see what the difference is. It'd be interesting to see if this ends up being more or less than the 17 by nine. 116. What was the old wheel? Oh, the old wheel was like 108. This is heavy as f man. What the hell? 116. Yeah, this wheel's stupid heavy. So I got more rotational mass now. What the hell? That wheel was 108 pounds with tire. How can an 18 with the same size tire and everything weigh that much more than the 17? That's crazy. What the f So I'll put the scale where it was pretty much located last time we did the, the weighing. I don't know if that makes a difference. We'll try it again here. Okay, so now it's 112.6. So it did go down. I don't know what the difference is by having the scale over here. <laughs> so we move the scale again. We'll see if it makes a difference. See, now it's 111. What the hell? So in other words, I don't think my scale is very trustworthy. Because wait, them here, they were like 116. Over here, they were like 112. And here it's 111. Hmm. You see, now it's 108.2. So it weighs pretty much the same as the 17 did. God, that is so weird. Weigh yourself, Chad. Oh, sure. <laughs> 220. See? You were too. Now hold on a second. I know, but that's what that I'm saying. That jumped up like that jumped up like four pounds right away. No, so you, you no, you were two thirty five last time. I understand that, but it was two twenty eight. I'm going by the lower number. <laughs> I'm gonna be forty this year. Now two thirty two. Went, but the thing is, I weighed the new wheel when the scale was right there, okay. and it was like one sixteen. I'm just like, it can't be like freaking six what, what seven you, pounds heavier. How we much put was it over, that one? We put it over here. And it was like, whatever, and then we put it over here, it's 108, just the same as the, the other one. It was the same as the other one? Yeah, but I, moved, I don't think my scale's very trustworthy. So we really only, only weigh about 200. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's weigh this uh, some bitch for the last time. Let's see what it weighs here, right here. Wow, that's 107, yeah, so it's the same-ish, because it was like 107.2 last time. So that one is 108. Which is the same as the previous 17 by 9. Never mind, it's, it's too much talking about this weight and stuff. But the scale is definitely not reliable, depending on where you keep it. I think this is going to look good with the 18s. Oh, I agree. It might be a blessing in disguise, actually. I'll, I, I promise you I'm going to like this more than the 7. Like, look. How about I posted that video, a real one, you guys were like, 
lifting up my tire in that cool way, you know what I mean? Of course there's some assholes, they're like, well, what, well, they don't have any muscles, you can't lift the tire yourself? You gotta work smarter, not But that's harder. the thing, when you have a wheel business, you can't be freaking lifting. Yeah, <laughs> doing this all day long lifting, yeah, I mean, your back. back would be shot, dude. Uh, like three people come in here and say they've seen that video. <laughs> people can make fun of me all they want, that's fine by me. Dude, that, that's a genius idea though. Not that you guys came up right. with it, but still. No. Anyhow, we're gonna sell these 20 by 12s like we always do. Um, there's nothing wrong with them. They're in great condition, a little dirty, but sitting on Knitter Ridge Grapplers. 20 by 12s, 35, 1250 wides. So, as always, the first person that can come and pick them up, pay cash, $1,500, gets them. Send me a, a DM on Instagram if you want them. And uh, they're yours. So we're almost done mounting all the wheels here. We still have a little, little stick out there. It's just, it's perfect, but this looks so good, man. I'm so happy with it. 18 by nine on 35 inch tire, 12, 50 wide. We finally have a different type of wheel setup on the F-150 and it's just black on black. It just looks good. Oh yeah, oh, that looks good, man. I'm happy. What do you guys think? Oh yeah, I love these wheels. Oh, that looks sick. Look at that. Mm -hmm. You guys are such wussies though, you don't have any muscles. <laughs> Put your back into it, Chad. Come on. I'm too old for that. <laughs> oh, that's ingenious though. I love that method. I also love being the guy that always holds the camera. I don't have to do anything. Yeah. Look at that. 108 pounds like nothing. All right, so we're ready to go. We got the new wheels, new tires, old wheels and tires are loaded. We're locked and ready. Thanks again to uh, Wheel Connection. Check them out on Instagram. I'll link all their stuff if you live in the area. Even if you live out of state, you can ship wheels and tires and right? Anything they want. Yep. All right, cool. Yep. All right, so it's actually been a, a difference to drive the truck with this new wheel setup. We'll talk about that here in a minute, but first, we haven't done this in a little while, and that is uh, Sarah to 60 run. Now, <laughs> and, well, what? So when we weighed the wheels, they actually weigh about a pound more per wheel, uh, but since the offset is different, I, I mean, I don't know if it's gonna make a difference. We're gonna try a Sarah to 60 run. <laughs> The best time that I've ever gotten in this truck is 4.4. So we're gonna redo it here. As you guys can hear, I have the, the draggy already running. So uh, let's see what kind of Sierra to 60 time we can get with the new wheel setup. So we got it in four high, traction control is completely off. We have it in sport. We're just gonna brake boost and go for it. I didn't get that launch right. All right, so we're gonna try that again. Just brake boost, we're in four high, traction control's completely off. Oh, <laughs> it's just flinging all over the road. <laughs> I love this truck. So I had my draggy running the whole time, but I wasn't doing the print screening thing. So I, I thought it was, but the time that we got the first time when I messed up the launch was 4.7. Uh, the time we got on the last run here was 4.5. So we were very close to that 4.4, um, but you guys couldn't see the time because I wasn't, I wasn't filming it. So we're gonna redo it. Point five one. Quarter. That's not bad. Four point five one. All right. So I'm not sure if my screen recording thing is working. So we're just gonna do it here one more time, and I'll just film the phone afterwards. That's launch, baby. All right. Let's see what we got. <laughs> she was ripping. What the hell? And then the freaking app locked up, of course. So typical. Dang it. So that was a little annoying. I think that last run, uh, we, we could have gotten a good time. We got a good time though, but just couldn't record it, which sucks. It's not like I was expecting to get a much better time or anything since, you know, technically the truck is slightly heavier. But yeah, either way, the truck looks amazing. I love it. It's a completely different look than we've had for 
so long with the two trucks that we modified on the channel I know it's not like this huge like modification crazy video or anything like that but for me uh, I, I, I love the upgraded look and driving it around there is absolutely no rubbing anymore and I mean you don't understand what how big of a deal that is like pulling into my driveway I'll, I'll show you guys uh, at the end of the video but like every time I pulled into my driveway every time I pulled out of my driveway every time I made a hard turn and I was going like just 15 20 miles an hour you'd hear that constant rubbing and it was starting to get annoying the truck feels lighter although it's not lighter but I, I think it's just because we don't have the same offset the wheels don't stick out as far the suspension technically doesn't have to work as hard I, I don't know what it is but it it feels lighter in the steering wheel Again, these are 18 by 9s fuel sapphires. So they're sitting on 35 inch tires, 12 and a half, so in case you didn't see, you know, the previous video where we got the same wheels, 17 by 9s, you know, same size tire and all that stuff, but it, the wheel just didn't fit. So I'm super happy with it. Truck looks amazing. Rides great. Yeah, love it. So every time I used to pull into my driveway, I'd hear a scrape nothing now <laughs> it's awesome now if I were to get pulled over for this tiny little poke that these new wheels have which is like nothing in comparison to the old wheels that has to be one board cop that has nothing else to do to pull someone over I mean in PA that is only in this state they mess around like that but yeah I, I don't think so I, I think I'm in the clear for now <laughs> but that being said I mean I love again I've said this several times in the video I love this setup it looks great I think that I'm done with the truck I mean don't completely hold me to that but I, I kind of think that I'm done with the truck it's had its last modification it looks the way that I want it's 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 nice right now now we uh, got the wheels installed at Chad's place wheel connection he is not the one who got the wheels for me though that was Mitchell at Town & Country Ford so shout out to them um, check out the link in the description you get 15% off on anything at TC customs if you use the link in the description you know if you want to lift or your wheels or whatever it is you want for your truck they can hook it up for you and they have a really good uh, relationship with wheel pros as well wheel pros actually owns fuel now so Mitchell and TC customs got the wheels from wheel pro so shout out to them as well so yeah I'm super happy to have uh, good companies that I collab with to you know be able to get me stuff for my truck especially in these times where it's a little harder I keep walking around filming these damn wheels I don't know how much longer we can talk about these wheels I think that's it I hope you guys enjoy the way that the truck looks I do and I always I feel like I'm forgetting something I'll remember it when I'm sitting and editing I promise but then it's too late so anyhow yeah I, it, we're gonna end it with that I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did you know what to do give it a huge thumbs up if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye